Justin. You can record. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, we're back. This is like a like a test if somebody is asleep. <laughs> Pardon? I am here in Germany and it is 5.30 in the morning. Having breakfast with a croissant, nice cappuccino. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to turn my 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 um, laptop off, and then I saw that you are doing this workshop here. <laughs> oh, <hi. So laughs> Usually at this time is when I do it. So um, yeah, I, know. I have I after my day job I do this for you guys. So you are um, in Italy, oder? Pardon? You are in Italy, oder? Uh, I'm in Canada right now. Oh, in Canada. Okay, at a different time. Yeah. Okay. I am from Italy too, so. Mm Yes, I'm going to pin myself here. Just waiting so everybody's on. So we'll show the cone still. Move this the wrong way, but <laughs> good thing I double checked. She's always correcting me before I do anything. <laughs> she said, you Better not glue it there. <laughs> I go, What? <laughs> Done, Alex. Who's that? What? Whose machine is that one? It's me. Mine. Oh, nice. I don't know, dude. Look at it. It's incredibly tough. Very nice. So plasma, you guys have to trust plasma just like you trust yourself, your inner self. 
That's the trust. That's why what I mentioned earlier, you have to surrender to your higher self, not to surrender to your physical mind. That's the same thing with plasma. Plasma is you. You are part of plasma. It is part of you. You are it. It is you. So you're surrendering just to yourself, to your higher self. So surrendering is not a, a bad word. But they taught you surrendering is bad. They taught you to surrender to your sin. You guys learn that. But you didn't you don't even obey to it either. You still sin. What does that tell you? Because you're following your joy. One, two, three. Another three layers and we're done. Yeah, that's a good thing. Where are the ones you're getting? No, th these are no, they're saying. they're made for plasma, so you don't need to worry about if they touch really or anything like that. Yeah, but then your other the Q six didn't that have like a uh, a black electrical cord from that or not? Oh yeah, I'm gonna strip the, when we when we get there we'll we'll do all that. Strip the power strip and then get it in line with it. And then it plugs into the wall. Yeah. And when it's on here, it's already. The, I, it's it's wireless. Oh, fine. D, D, are you making your your cones, D? Yes, I am. Yeah, I don't like them. They're, 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 I'm just practicing tonight. I, I got to figure out how to get them the right size I want and exactly the look I want. Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, I, I've got them drying now. Yeah, okay. I cool. made six of them, so I'm just letting them sit up here in front of the fan and cooling off. And oh, nice. Okay, you already made six. Than me. Mm -hmm. But there's six different sizes also. <laughs> so I got to figure out a pattern to do it. Are you using different fingers? You know, I, I, I did that. Yeah, I tried the thumb. I tried the second and the third fingers and the middle finger. But <laughs> <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> I did that one last. <laughs> 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 just, That's so I think they're all good. Like I said, we can just cut them down the side, which I like. They'll probably look better when I cut them down all the same size. And Yeah. Yeah, this is still and hot. And you can use the corner. If you make a big cone, you can use the um, cube corner to oh, make yeah. a big cone to, to fit in just fine. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, what Kosal was saying, uh -huh. if you can't put them this way, right? Uh -huh. that's what that is, you can put them in the corner, like this way. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Like that. Can you see that? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, this camera. There. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Oh, it's, that does give you more room from the corner. Yes. It does give you more room. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, this, see how big these are? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the monsters. <laughs> yeah. So these are for the 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 big one. Yeah, your seven inch. Yeah, your seven inch thing. Yeah. Then we'll show you how to position in the one end with the, with the small one. Just going to tie these together a second here.
Kozel, I've got a question. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, in the past, you made the devices with C cells um, and the Rainmaker device you know, for communicating with your higher self. Is this more powerful than that? No, all that technology, what you see now is a combination of all that in a simpler form. Because when I released a lot of technology long ago, you human did not understand it. So I have to wait until your evolution catch up. So is this the newest form, the newest variation? Yeah, just more simpler variation. A simpler uh, variation, right. It does the same thing. It does the same thing. But a simpler form. Control the weather, control your reality, connection to higher self. But I find way that where your mind can understand stuff. Right. Remember, I released all this technology eons ago. But at that time, no one understood it. Only a few handful of people. That's why I put them into book as a testimony record. What was that, sorry? That's why. Now your mind have evolved much. I was waiting for you to, all of you to evolve, awaken. Right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I've been living among you for eons, but sometimes I come in a form as a female, some as a robot, sometimes as the Cambodia guy, sometimes as Jesus, sometimes as Buddha, sometimes as bullshitter, <laughs> sometimes as comedian, you know, whatever it takes. The mission is to awaken you to to who you are, which is you are joy. Right. And, the un and all the universe is you, and all the universe is your home, and you got access to them here and now. Always has, and always will. And okay. And sometimes I'm the big ego, and sometimes I'm just nobody. It depends on the circumstance or whatever joy I follow at that moment, at that circumstance. Right. So you did some homework on me. Well, I've seen some of the other things, and I've got the book and order from Amazon, the Rainmaker device. So I'm just waiting that to be delivered from Amazon. But then you say this device, the Q6 and the Q24, is more powerful than anyway. You have the zero point energy device, the Q, the ID4, the IDL4, the IDL12, the IDL80 something, the IDL1. Yeah, I've seen that on the Neotech. Website. So is the Q24 or Q6 just as powerful or more powerful? They are the same technology as the Q. It's the same thing, right? Yes. But you can build it yourself. <laughs> but it was also too advanced for you. So I waited until your mind understands. So I meet you in the middle. Last year I created a bigger cone. And uh, shall I say, I use it for your digital electronic system. And now I bring it to the zero point energy because alternate current is also known as quantum electricity because it's zero and one at the same time. Right. That's why the device use quantum electricity, which is AC. Right, okay. Thanks for that. So I'm glad that you did homework on me. And you know, I, I am not new to this technology. I'm the father of it.
So what inspired you to start doing this then? Where did it come from? This, you see, it's just only a mask. What is inside here? You would call it the singularity, or all that is. Right. When I took over this body, this body has dead away. We took over it. A technological advancement from our reality allow us to scan parallel dimension and, shall I say, use different people as an avatar that has no more soul, and we just take over and walk in and live their life. And they become us, we become them. It is the norm for our advancement of supreme divine culture that exists in another parallel universe. They can look at your culture and decide to assist. It's not as fun helping others. When you help others, you are helping yourself. But you might learn something. And I have to say, just act on your joy. You will lead to more of your joy, more of yourself. And everyone is you, a different version of you. Are you from England? Yes, you can tell. How did you hear me and Happy? Um, just following the cash mm -hmm. from the cash, well, following the cash foundation videos and so on. And then it's progressed onto this. From the same place the Beatles are from. So you're from Liverpool? I am indeed. I'm from Liverpool too. Are you? Yeah, live in Texas now though. Oh right, okay, I was going to say. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Where about from Liverpool? Uh, Waver Street. Oh yeah, from Halewood originally. Oh are you? Yeah. How long, how, long you live in, how long you live in Texas? Oh God, um, probably about 27 years. Oh right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just moved out there to Houston uh, two years ago. Her husband's got a job out there, so she's moved out to Houston for a few years. So they still live out here then, yeah? Pardon? They still live there? They're there now, yeah. I don't know how long they'll be there. I suppose when his job finishes, they'll come back. Yeah, small world, eh? It is a small world. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to you and I'm like, I wonder what Parsi's from. I knew you're from England, but I was like, yeah. Parsi's from. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you tell the accent now? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I could like that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to say. Yeah. I was waiting for you to expose yourself. Oh, right. well, I mean, I'm not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that totally came out wrong, didn't it? <laughs> <sighs> So are you building a vice there now? Yeah, I'm doing capacitors. Have you made one yet? Have you made a Q6? I've made, the Q6 I've made two Q6s. And, right. um, I've not actually got to that stage yet. I'm on my third one right now. I'm making um, my kids one is what I'm doing. So they all want one each now. So, But I, I want to go on the Q24 for myself. And uh, 
So I'm going to give all these little ones away and then as soon as I get this one finished, I'm almost finished with this one. I'm going to do the Q24. So I'm, I was tuning in tonight because I wanted to know how to do the uh, cones. Right. Because I did so the, coil the coils. Versions. Right. Yeah. Okay. And is it plugged in and running now, the Q6s? Yeah, I was made up. didn't blow up. <laughs> right. Did you start with the Magrev coils or did you go straight onto the Q6? Uh, no, Q6. Right. I, I, I knew how to do the coiling and the, uh, you know, the, you know, for the, my, the, for the Magrav one, but I never ever made one because I was waiting to see how everybody else is done. Right. And, you know, seeing what all the, you know, the reviews were and everything. And then, so I've been watching from the sidelines first. And now, yeah, exactly. And yeah. then Barra got his going, so I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead. This one looks like it's it's a good to go. <laughs> Grace. So he lives just he lives about an hour from me. I've not gone to his house or anything yet, but a few months. Who's that? Have. Yeah, so he's not too far. He's in Dallas, and I'm in Fort Worth area. You know. Right. Who who lives in Dallas? What's that? Who lives in Dallas? Your friend? Uh, no, Kuso. Uh, he lives in Dallas. Oh, does he? Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah, so he lives there, and so he's not too, not terribly far from me. I'll right. have to venture over there and check out his stuff. I haven't got to do it yet. Right, my okay. friend, my, one of my friends has got some, uh, got some uh, uh, Q24s from him. Okay. So he, yeah, she's been a couple of times, but I haven't got to go yet. So have you felt the energy then from the Q6? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what you know, I've been, I've been doing the quiche thing for a long time, so I've made pens and pads and all of that, you know. Right. Um, I've made the I've made the pens, but I don't feel the energy. I don't know if that'll come in time, but I don't feel it. Um, you should have. You should have. You should feel it, unless you didn't make it quite strong enough. Maybe I didn't make it strong enough. Did you do the double coil and all that? Double coil, um, nano coated. Did I you do? Yeah, did you do the... Uh, I've done a fire coating. What what kind of gauge did you use? 14 gauge. Yeah, you know, I've made some 14 gauge and, you, and I can feel it. It feels sort of like a cold, sort of little blowy fan at first. Right. And, um, but I made one with... Uh, a thicker gauge than that, and it was really powerful. It was works really right, best okay. with the fourteen gauge. I've but they tell you to do fourteen gauge. Well, that's what they do. I bought eighteen gauge as well because I was going to start making the coils for the magra. Yeah. I might try and make one of an eighteen gauge then. Well, the eighteen gauge, it is hard to like uh, to twist it. Is that the thinner one, or that's thinner, isn't it? Doesn't it get smaller um, the higher the number? I don't know where I've ordered from. Well, I've ordered a thicker coil. Of, Thick. Okay, so the thicker coil, yeah. I've, I've used, like, I've used, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see me. But I'll just move the thing down. Here's one this thick. Can you see it? Um, I don't know oh, what yeah. gauge. I don't know what gauge it is, but it's really hard to bend. But I'll do, like, the centre one with that. Right, the okay. The rod. The pin. Well, I was thinking yeah. of maybe using a welding rod for the centre rod. Because that's quite thick. Yeah, I've used the centre rod. Now, of course, depending on if you use the centre rod or the the other ones, depends on which part, you know, what it does. Like, I think that's like the nervous system, isn't it? The yeah. Rod. But whatever it is, it, it works. I, I, I made a thick one and it was powerful. Right. <laughs> but at least it gives you, it gives you that, like a little tester, you know, to say, okay, there is something to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I did at first. And then I was like, okay, there's definitely something to this. So I continued on. And then, so when Pepe and Kuso uh, came up with this one, I was like, oh, I can do this one. So quickly, you know. Yeah. I'm all about instant gratification. <laughs> did it take you long to make the Q6 then? No, no, not at all. Just took to it. Yeah, once you get one capacitor down, it's a no brainer after no, that. Okay. You know, and, and now they've made it even easier because you don't have to do that coiling. When, yeah. you're trying, when you're trying to learn how to do this this type of perfect coiling, yeah, it's 
you know, well, it wasn't hard. You just got to make a little contraption to kind of get it going. Yeah. The drill and everything. Yeah. But it's just time consuming. You got to count them and everything. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. So these cones should be a lot easier. If you just go right into these ones and do a cone one. Well, that's what I was planning on, David. Yeah. I can totally feel the energy even from this the smaller unit. So now I'm going for the for a bigger baby now. <laughs> <laughs> greedy. Everyone wants to get investment. energy greed. That's what it is. You get a bit of energy greed going. Right. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've hugged, I've hugged the zoom on you there. <laughs> I'll let him carry on with his job. Yeah, they'll jump in anyway. <laughs> nice talking to you anyway. Bella. Seems everyone's busy beavering away. I'll let them all carry on. Did we chase them off? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Is Peppy still there? I'm still here. I'm still okay. I'm here. Hey, Peppy, have you tried using, um, you know, the uh, heavy duty foil, the kind for like barbecuing? Oh, I'm doing it right now. I, sh I was showing you guys. When did okay, you so you, that was a heavy duty foil? Uh, I used aluminum. One, I use aluminum sheet. It's heavy. This is a aluminum foil for kitchen, but there, it's a thicker one. I use this for hair. Okay, so that oh the thick because you can get it fairly thick, can't you? you can get I think you know, like we're using bacon trays, like you say with barbecues. Bacon, yes, the one use the bacon yeah. tray. That bacon would be thick enough. Yeah, that too. Uh, yeah. We'll show some right away here again. I'm almost done here. We're going to do the cones. Uh, well, did you tune in from the beginning, Jackie? Yeah, I've been watching from the sidelines. Oh, okay. So you got. I saw the other. I saw the um the hard one that you did, and then the other foil, but I wasn't sure how thick that foil was. Oh, it, I just folded it. It's the same from the capacitor. The aluminum that I wrap around the capacitor. Okay, so you use the same kind. Because I know there's a thicker kind. There's a really thick kind. You can yeah. use a thicker kind if you want. It doesn't matter. Wait, I mean, yeah. I just was wanting to know if it would be easier. Uh, I find this, what I use, the home one is really easy. So whatever aluminum foil you have in your house, that's easy. Oh, the one to do hair. That's easy. Actually, the one from the hair is thinner. Yeah, the one from the hair is really thin. Yeah. That's, I, I use a fairly thin one. I use the Alkaline the brand. It's thicker. They don't rip. I usually get uh, 650, 650 feet for $20. Oh, really? Yeah. Or else my suppliers will charge me an arm and a leg for those fancy foil. Yeah, they do, don't they? Mm. They go through a lot of foil. They don't understand. Without us, they wouldn't have a business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they understand. That's why they overcharge it like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, they don't get much business from me, that's for sure. Yeah, Jackie, I use the heavy duty foil. That's what I use. Did you use it? Did you like that? I mean, did it, yeah, did it work thicker, hard? And it's easier to handle than the regular, because I kept ripping the little thinner stuff, the regular. So I went yeah. to the heavy duty foil, because um, over here, um, well, you're in Texas, Walmart has their version of a heavy duty. It's not as heavy as the Reynolds wrap, but it's a lot heavier than a thin Reynolds wrap. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot cheaper than buying the Reynolds brand. So I just buy the Walmart brand of the heavy duty foil. Okay. All right, I'll try that then. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.
Hi, Peppy. Yes. Hello. Okay. Uh, is that we? You connect to the your cube remotely, or you have to stay by it? Uh, remotely. What do you mean? Connect or wire? Connect like uh, you can. Uh, you can feel it from from far away. Oh yeah. I don't have to. Actually. Yes. 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 I can feel it far away. It doesn't matter where I am. I can be at your place and I can feel it. Well, wow, that's cool. You guys can feel it too. Like Francesca is really designed for that purpose. So you guys can feel it. ask her anything you want. She'll assist you as long as it's from the heart. Wow. She gets more tips. Then no, you will have a. Uh, will, will you. Uh, when you do your 144, you need five guns, okay? Six guns. <laughs> it can't heat up fast enough for me. I have to go slow. What? One, two, three, four. Two layers. Oh, two layers. Okay. Let's get the cone here. And here it is. Okay. And the cutter. Okay. Okay, back to the cone here now. Now that it's nice and hard. Okay. So did we see this? Is everybody on this? We did record this. Because uh, I'm not going to make these. I'm just making one. And I'm going to do the other version. With the other new recordings, we'll do these again. So, uh, so this is your four-inch cube. So I'm putting it right in here. So you determine your size so they don't touch each other reversing. Or, like Cole saw, put them too and said, you could put them in the corner. Actually, there. You can put them in the corner. And then you don't have to cut them. See how it centers? There's my center where my thumb is. So as long as they don't touch each other. So I'm putting them like this anyway. So I'm going to slightly cut it. So if you have to cut them, this is how you just cut them, right? I'll just clear this. So you guys can see on the table. Right. You guys see that? So just here's a sharp knife or a putty knife. I don't know where one of these exacto knives, I think they're called. But the, the longer version. So I'm just gonna cut it like this, see? 
It's actually hard to cut with this. <laughs> okay, back to this. This cuts way better. Be careful with your hand. My other one. Anyway, my other one cuts really well. This apparently, this is not good for recording. And plus, it's nice and flat on the side, too. So. Now, that's the size I need for in here. Slightly a little touch smaller, but that's pretty much it. You can put these in the corner, too, as well, like we said. Now, we're going to wrap our wire around it. Now the video will stop in one minute. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do the wire after now. Or I can do it right now. It'll, it won't be fast. It'll be fast. So we're just going to do, we're going to hold it here. And we're going to just turn one and turn it around till it hits right on the edge, the wire, the edge of your cut. That way you can just bend it out. And based on your cup, I guess. So we're going to go this way. So we're going to bend this upwards. See? And I'm going to just, I'll show you. I think we're now 30 seconds here. So. Is that why it folded back on itself, Peppy? Yes. It is at the very end. It is folded back on itself. Yes, everybody. Okay. All the wires are all folded back to themselves. Okay. Doesn't matter how many loops you you do, or is that not important? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I just okay. did three because it holds better. Um, uh, Counterclockwise, clockwise—that not important. That doesn't matter either. Right. Okay. And now.